It's a project years in the making, a wind farm off the coast of Massachusetts. We're uh, looking out to the ocean, so 35 miles from here, uh, that's where we will uh, see the turbines. 62 turbines known as Vineyard Wind One, enough to power 400,000 homes. The CEO of the Danish company behind it says it took the approval of more than two dozen state, local and federal agencies to get to this point. It was not easy and definitely not uh, easy because it's also the first of its kind. Two, three, two. The White House hopes to fast track another seven offshore lease agreements by 2025. At the groundbreaking ceremony in November, the Secretary of the Interior discussed the Biden administration's clean energy goals. The United States is making giant leaps in building a clean energy future. It's a solution that can create robust and sustainable economies that lift up communities while also ensuring future generations have a livable planet. Offshore wind power in the United States currently is next to nothing. Five turbines here off the coast of Rhode Island, another two further south in Virginia, that's it. Adding hundreds and hundreds more is crucial to the Biden administration's plan to cut carbon emissions, but it won't be easy. Infrastructure improvements will be needed, including new transmission lines that must be built through densely populated areas. And the grid capacity has basically run out. We're at a point where we need to proactively plan for this next generation, this next round of uh, big wind and solar projects. Fishermen and environmental groups worried about the impact on marine life have filed lawsuits attempting to halt Vineyard Wind's construction. All these guidelines that are in place for protection are being bypassed. Everything's getting streamlined to, for these permits to go into place quickly. And that is co a concern. The industry is promising to bring thousands of jobs and millions of dollars to the coastal city of New Bedford, already the country's largest fishing port. So this is the first purpose-built facility uh, for offshore wind deployment. For the mayor, it's a balancing act. They go out fishing, uh, in some cases, where the wind farms are going to go. And so uh, determining where wind farms go, how far apart turbines are, how they're aligned, are all very complicated questions that affect both industries. Still, the industry and its advocates say the U.S.'s ambitious goals for offshore wind power can be achieved, and also that they must be, to keep U.S. clean energy targets in sight. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, on the New England coast.